vibes. I'm giving like hardcore like skater vibes, like old skater vibes right now. Um, but anyways, we are about to go work to Madrid. I'm actually from the future. I'm editing cat. I'm actually wrapping this video up, but some stuff happened in the last couple days since I ended this video. So I wanted to come on at the beginning and kind of talk to you guys about it. But in the video you're about to watch, we're actually gonna go to Madrid. Now me and Madrid, we're very hot and cold because the first time I ever went, I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. I had so much fun. But then the last time I went, I don't know if you guys saw this video, if you missed it or whatever, but in that video, I literally caught somebody in the middle of pickpocketing me, which I did not realize that. Spain kind of has quite a problem with this because I've also been warned that Barcelona is quite the same, which if you guys don't know, I'm based in Dallas-Fort Worth and Dallas-Fort Worth, I think it's the end of this month. We're actually getting Barcelona. So hopefully this is gonna be like a redemption arc for me in Madrid. Hopefully we'll, we'll get off on better terms, but I'll let you guys figure that out. But before we dive into that, I also have some other news, which is very, very bittersweet, but Miss, Miss Maple did end up getting adopted we enjoyed having her oh no you guys oh i wanted to keep it together fostering is one of the it's one of like the most rewarding but challenging things and you know me you guys know me and my dogs i get very very attached and you know you just you fall in love with them and it takes me no time at all to do so. I swear, these are these are happy tears. I'm very happy for her. So I told you guys before she was probably gonna end up getting adopted. At the time, I didn't wanna say too much because I didn't want it to fall apart. Like I wanted it to like work out. Obviously I didn't wanna jinx anything, but um, the owner of the tattoo shop that Chip works at, him, his wife, and their kids are actually the one that ended up adopting Maple and she is thriving she's doing so good over there which i'm super happy about it's definitely like the perfect fit for her and they just adore her they already went and bought her like a ton of stuff and i just i love that for her i'm sad for me happy for her it's kind of the same as like when we fostered gwen i don't know if you guys remember gwen but I was so happy for her. I was sad, but I was so happy for her because like that family was like the perfect fit and I feel like this is the exact same situation. I, I really do like, I support fostering so much and if you have the ability to do it, like definitely, definitely do it. But <laughs> it's a tricky one because you're gonna get your heart broken. It's, it's a weird one, but anyways. Okay, let me collect myself because I have one more thing that I want to say and it's a really good thing and a really happy thing, so. Hold on, <laughs> like deep breath. Got like a snotty upper lip now. Um, but the next thing, which I have like the biggest heart for, the biggest thank you for, because they have been such a supporter of me and my channel. And they've also allowed me the financial capability of being able to do things like fostering dogs and having five of my own and doing all of that is to thank the sponsor of today's channel who I am just absolutely in love with and that is Factor. Factor makes meeting your diet and nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. You don't even have to go anywhere, they're coming to you. And with Factor, you'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, protein plus, and more. And I love Factor because it cuts down on my grocery shopping and my cooking time and my cleaning time. All it takes is two minutes, so 120 seconds in that microwave and it's good to go. I have the most delicious meal ever that keeps me on track with my diet and nutrition goals. Not to mention that Factor is also super flexible. I can easily adjust my order size or if I know I'm gonna be out of town for an entire week and I'm not able to take my meals with me, I can just go ahead and skip the week. So I love that flexibility as well. So the one I'm having for lunch right now is the ginger teriyaki salmon with roasted cabbage, forbidden rice, sesame green beans, and roasted onions. And you guys, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. They need to invent something so you can like smell through the screen. So good. So if you wanna join the Factor family like myself, if you head to factor75.com and use code catnesbit 50 you'll not only get 50% off your first Factor box, but you're also gonna get free wellness shots for life. So you'll get two free wellness shots out of three available flavors on every single Factor order while you are an active subscriber. So once again, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go off to Madrid. The sun is absolutely brutal. Like I can't even put you guys on the dashboard. Otherwise I just get completely like 
washed out. I don't know if you guys can see it. Anyways, I just got to the Dallas airport right now. So we're just gonna be working the one flight over to Madrid. I'm gonna be position three on the Boeing 787-900. So I'll be working in the main cabin and we're not gonna be full today. And it also looks like we're not gonna be completely full coming back because like I said on my last video, that right now is kind of like that, that little bit of like a slow in between where the holiday travel ended and then spring break and summer travel and all that's really gonna start like kind of next month. So trying to enjoy it while we can. But anyways, let's go ahead, gather up our stuff, get inside, get signed in, get through security and all that good stuff. Celsius is good. But I'm sorry I came to the hotel room and I didn't really say anything to you guys. I, I was so tired. I was fighting it. What you guys didn't see is that everything was normal. Like we, we ended up getting everybody like boarded up. We took off, everything was good to go. And then we ended up starting our service. So at the beginning of service, we pass out pretzels and then do a full beverage service. And then we go back and do another full beverage service with meals. And then you do pickup. So that's kind of like the order of service in the back on this one. And so while I was doing pretzels and I was like passing out bags, I noticed that there was a man who was unresponsive. So we had to go into medical emergency procedures. And fortunately, the whole team of flight attendants were just on it. I've said this so many times before, but you just immediately jump into procedures. You really don't skip a beat. They train us so well. It's not even funny. Everything just comes second nature. So immediately snap into medical emergency procedures and we start getting to work. And fortunately there were multiple doctors on board as well as nurses who volunteered to help us out. But ultimately it was decided that we needed to make an emergency landing but because we're all fueled up to basically go all the way to Spain we're gonna have to land heavy so that basically means like you're landing with way more fuel on board than you intend to land so when they do that procedurally we'll have like fire trucks and and all that on standby just just to make sure it's like precautionary that you're okay whenever you land and that something doesn't happen with like the brakes or, or something like that but the landing went okay and everything was was good to go so we had to go back to the gate and then the medical personnel came on and took them off which i will say he did end up becoming conscious again and he was responsive so this one does have a happy ending which we want to see on all of them but then after that you still have to wait for the brakes on the airplane to cool down before you can take off again. Also, they want to make sure that there's no damage to the airplane from landing heavy and all that. So we ended up doing a, a full water service on the ground. Then we had to get catering to come bring more water and cups and stuff, just to make sure that we had plenty of stuff. And so after we were able to take off again, we ended up being about three hours delayed, which I don't want to make this about the delay. Like obviously like that is not the concern here. The concern is just making sure everybody is safe. Like as a flight attendant, your number one job is safety and security. That is your number one thing that you need to be worried about. So like, I don't want to even make this about the delay. I just want to say like, hey, there was a three hour delay. But basically once I got here, I didn't really sleep on break. And I think I was still, the adrenaline was still a rush. My, my head was going crazy. So once we got here, I feel like my body was just done. Like I was just expended, like I was exhausted. So once I got here, I needed a nap. My original plan for this layover was actually to go over to the massive Primark. Like I wanted to go walk over there, which it's, it's a far walk, but I thought it'd be nice. Just get some fresh air. There's like kind of like a tapas market out there. And I thought that would have been so fun to take you guys to, but the time just really, really kind of got the best of us. We are still going to do stuff. 
I'm obviously still getting ready. So what I'm thinking is I want to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. And then we're gonna be meeting up with a handful of flight attendants from the crew. Like this crew is so lovely. Everybody is just like, like we all click together. And I love when that happens. I absolutely love when, when it just, everybody just comes together and it just kind of feels like a big old family. So I know I think like half the crew is gonna end up going out to dinner. Now it is, <laughs> it is like an Italian restaurant from what I looked, it's like a Mediterranean Italian restaurant. And I've been gluten free, but I don't know if I'm gonna manage at this restaurant if I'm honest, just because like I looked at their menu and, and I didn't really see a single gluten-free option, but I, I'd rather be a part of it at this point, especially after after the trip we've had so far. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't wanna exclude myself for that. So hopefully we can find something good to eat there. It's supposed to be like, kind of like fine dining. It's supposed to be really nice. So this one's definitely, we're going off script. <laughs> we're completely going off script today and that's okay. Usually like the best things, the best things happen. So it took me a little bit longer than expected, but here's the OOTD. So it's our outfit of the day, all blacked out, which is just my vibe. But let's go ahead and get out there, get our groceries and then get back so we can go to dinner and actually be on time. And I'm bringing this bag that I got from Primark with me. I love this thing. And inside I'm also gonna take my insulated shopping bag from Amazon. made it back to the hotel. Dinner was fabulous. All of the dishes were so incredibly good and they were actually able to customize everything to me gluten-free. But um, I'm gonna show you guys everything I got at the grocery store that I went to before and then dropped everything off here. But because I was tight on time, I did not realize this grocery store is absolutely massive. I have been sleeping on this grocery store because I've been to like some markets and stuff here, but they've all been fairly small. They're kind of more like corner stores. And then when I saw this one, I was like, no, no, no. this thing is huge. You could by far spend hours there, which I did not have, but I did end up getting some good stuff. So the first thing I got was this big old thing of strawberries. The color is so vibrant and they smell so darn good. And then I found these gluten-free little panini rolls and they look like this. I feel like this brand, you can get it in the States and they have really good gluten-free stuff. So I found these. And so to go with this, I got some salami as well as some light cheese and then i got some turkey i believe this is turkey some turkey as well as i believe this one to be ham um so then i figured i can like make myself like a gluten-free sandwich and put it in the flight attendant oven like a little hot meal so i think that'll be really good and then also, oh my gosh, I forgot about this. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. And that is these protein mousses. So in this whole thing, it has 18 grams of protein. It is insanely good. I can only seem to find these in Spain. Although they do say on there that it's like quality of Finland. But if you ever see these, pick them up. They are so good. Like I wish I could just buy these in bulk and send them back and it tastes like the most delicious dessert. And I don't like protein powder. I don't like a lot of protein flavor things. And so like a protein mousse, normally I would completely write that off, but these are so darn good. And then I saw from the same brand, they have a protein pudding. Now I don't know if this one's gonna be like the same, worse, better, whatever, but I picked up one and this is banana toffee flavored. And again, 18 grams of protein. And then I also picked up this gluten-free gnocchi and it's kind of like split in like a two pack so you can like have half and then the other half and I feel like this is great with like some pasta sauce and some ground turkey and then I picked up these and I'm hoping these are good too so they're choco bread no gluten no lactose no milk no eggs no nuts I also picked up these um, just in case and these are Mediterranean chips I'm not sure what a Mediterranean flavor is but um, basically they're just potato chips but right now it is almost 11 p.m. Is it gonna focus? No, 
Oh, there it goes. Okay, so right now, <laughs> and then it turns off. So right now it's almost 11 p.m. So I kind of want to wind down and try to like fall asleep. Hopefully I can fall asleep quickly, get some sleep, and then get up early. That way we can do some stuff before we actually have to get out of here. The sun doesn't rise until 8.30 though, and van time is going to be 10.05. So we'll have like a little window of time to play around with, hopefully. Like if I get up at like 7.30, get ready, pack, and all that. But anyways, that's going to be our game plan. So I'm going to put this stuff up, get my makeup off, start winding down getting ready for bed and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good night! Good morning, you guys. Um, I slept so good. That bed, that bed might be better than Paris. Soft, fluffy pillows. It's like sleeping on a cloud. I'm out of my Tula sunscreen. So today we have no sunscreen, but I did get a text that it's on the way. Cause obviously, <laughs> obviously I reordered it. Oh, I forgot to put my hair clip in. So right now I'm going to put in a little bit of my Curology moisturizer, moisturizer, <laughs> moisturizer. My skin be dry. Oh, I had that forehead. And then I'm also going in with my city beauty line blurring wrinkle filler forehead especially this big old line right here 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 let that heat up this that thing actually heats up so fast i was like shocked but after um i get ready i'm gonna try to find like one of the little markets probably a smaller one i want to see if i can find some more of like those little mousse things and then um i'm gonna try to find like a bakery so i can get some coffee and something with like a gluten-free baked good so i'm gonna try to find a gluten-free bakery and, and when gluten-free does it right they really do it right you cannot tell the difference <laughs> just got back we have to make it a little bit a little bit quick though because um, we're gonna be a little bit tight on time I don't know what I just knocked over because the bakery didn't open until nine o'clock so I kind of had to like wait I just sat at a bench and kind of waited until they opened I stopped at a pharmacy because I saw Allie posted that Tiger Balm has an extra strength and Chip told me that when I showed him the red one he said no no the one in Germany is stronger like you can't put it by your face your eyes will water so I know I don't have the strongest Tiger Balm so I went in there to see if I could find it I didn't find it but she did say that they had like Voltaren and this is their extra strength Voltaren. And with the cold weather and my arthritis and we got to power through this month, I'm trying to fly high this month. So <laughs> we're gonna see how the weather and my wrist is gonna um, play along. But I ended up picking that up. So we'll give that a whirl. And then at the gluten-free bakery, I was hoping for kind of like a croissant or something similar to that, but most of their stuff was like sweets, like cupcakes, cake, cheesecake, that stuff. But I did see bread. So I picked up lemon bread as well as carrot bread. I think that's the wake up call. But um, Chip had wanted me to pick him up something as well. I'll probably condense these and put them in the same container so they don't take up as much space. I would have said that at the bakery, but she didn't speak any English and my Spanish is un poquito. So I wasn't able to tell her. But then with the protein mousse. Okay, I might have gone too far, but the thing is, is I went into a supermarket called Dia, Dia or Dio, something like that, and they didn't have it. So what they did have there was this protein mousse. It's a completely different brand and there's 20 grams of protein in it. But the one that I get does not at all taste protein at all. It, it tastes like a dessert. It's so good. So I was a little bit nervous, but I picked this up anyways. And then I also saw this. They have protein flan. I love me some flan. So I picked those up and it, it looks like this. And these have 26 grams of protein. So I want to give those a whirl. But as I was walking to the bakery, because I knew I was going to get there early, I did pass by another supermarket. So I was like, you know what? Let me run in there and see if they have it. And they did. So after already buying this, I ended up running in there and I got 
four of them. So I guess I'm gonna have to just like start sharing with the crew or something. Cause like this is, <laughs> this is an insane amount of protein mousse, but um, I picked up four of them. I'm probably gonna have one for breakfast and then have like a small piece of, of like the lemon cake or something. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing everything up. Hands in team, break. <laughs> also that cappuccino I had at the bakery, Oh, it was so good. It was so good. My only regret is that I, I wish I got two because they're a lot smaller than uh, <laughs> the amount of caffeine us Americans, myself included, drink. All right, so we're gonna have to think smart here because I bought a lot of food. That's my weakness. Like, I feel like I save a bunch of money in other places. Like, I do my hair myself. I do my nails myself. I do my lashes myself. I spray tan and do all that myself. So, like... I cut corners in some places, and even when I shop for clothes, I nine times out of 10, I'm shopping at Walmart and Primark. Like those are usually, ooh, my stomping grounds for clothes, but food is my weakness when it comes to money. That's what I like to do, whether it's go to the grocery store and buy food, or just like go out and eat and have like an experience somewhere. One of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling is just find like the best food around town. So thank goodness my, my life wit bag is big. It's bigger than my e-bag, so hopefully, Hopefully we can make this work. I'm thinking cold foods on the top because that way when I get to the plane, I can put them in the cooler. Okay, I got the strawberries situated, have all the, the deli meats and stuff. This is actually chilled, this little cake thing. So I'll probably take this out and chill it as well. But look how much space there still is. This bag is so deceiving. It's like, it's not too big, but it holds a ton when you do pack it. I'm just obsessed. I think this is easy breezy. I left one out because I'm gonna have it for breakfast. Um, but that's easy money. Y'all, I cannot believe we did that, but I'm all dressed and ready. All my stuff is packed, everything zipped. So my camera is the last thing to go in its case. I'm gonna eat this protein mousse and then we need to be downstairs in three minutes. So go team. <laughs>